Yo, who? What's up, y'all? It's your boy AG back again with another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And yeah, last episode, man, was a little bit of a calm one, you know? We went back home, people. What's up with the fam? But it wasn't really the fam. I mean, they pretty much family, you know? Me, Casa, Su, Casa, you know, type shit. They invited the boys in, got Ed right with the arm again and all that so he could fix his brother. And, you know, they also got the tip from uh, Dr. Marco. I believe that was his name that uh that they can get the secrets of like the philosopher's stone and his research material if they go to like a certain place so like now that they got their whole body squared out well not really their real bodies but you know they their pseudo bodies you know the auto male arm and all that they got that shit fixed they're gonna head over to wherever dr mako sent them for real the last episode was a real calm one, I ain't gonna hold you. It was more so like us just learning a little bit more about the brothers and like what they went through alongside Armstrong and shit. And that was always, that's always cool to see. And seeing how their dynamic was with like uh, Winry and her grandma. It's like everybody kind of just like understands what the brothers are going through and they're not like here to baby them or anything like that. It's like, all right, these boys are set on their, their task, their mission. This is how they're gonna try to find their peace. We're just here to support them and make sure like they got everything they need because pushing against the grain with them doesn't seem like that's the right tactic. We're just gonna make sure they know they're loved. They got backup if they need that. They got a mechanic, you know what I'm saying? Now where would this lead with uh, Dr. Marco's like research material lead to? I don't know, we about to find out. So you already know the vibes. Goofy SM must be engaged, already got my shit on. Let's dive right back into Full Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood, yeah. Ah, Dr. Marco's research, it's all but gone. in no way. Two seconds into the episode, and the research is already complete. It's Western, done. <laughs> Yo, oh, is that come what you on. Were doing in Central? Yes, the Full Metal Boy found out about Marco's research. Hey, with that <laughs> issue taken on? care of, hey. I thought I would come to see Please how stop. things are progressing in East City. Is he here? <laughs> The scar faced is fallen. He's close. I can taste his stink like blood. I still get to eat him right. Oh, yes. Taste his stink is. That's a, that's a line. I ain't gonna hold you. Episode seven. seven hidden truths. But taste and stink? Ew. Speaking of stink, this boy is walking around the silk. The sewer? It's like New York food. I feel right at home. Let me stop. Oh my god! I don't know, hold on, that boy, that boy scar kinda nice! Mm-hmm! Oh, hey! She gotta stop, like, just popping up like that, off guard and shit. Scar hasn't been sighted. <laughs> Maybe he's not even in East City anymore. I hope you're wrong about that. Huh? This case has obviously gotten to be too much for Central to handle. If I can close it quickly enough, I'll be golden. Was it a gas explosion? With everything else that's been going on around here, who knows? Yeah. Oh. Oh, nah, they fucked them up. There's no mistake. They took the drip off and all that. That boy bleeding, he leaking. Have you found the body? Not yet, but we're still searching. You and yeah, your men work some day and night to clear wild shit going on with those two. We don't know too much found. about them, but don't take so much as they a got the matching tattoos. That's done. Do you understand? Looks like you got away. I didn't get my snack. Yes, I know. I suppose I'll be heading back to Central again. I need to report to Father. I need to get her out of my ear, bro. Oh, velvety ass, smooth ass voice and shit, making my ears twinkle. <laughs> Major Armstrong. Oh, Second Lieutenant Ross and Sergeant Brosh. To what do we owe this? Ross and Brosh. Ross and Brosh. You've been ordered to report back to the command center, sir. We'll be taking over supervision of Edward Elric and his brother effective immediately. I know. I like Armstrong. Well I thought he was going to be our plus this? one. Just when I think I'm home free, they saddle me with more bodyguards? This is getting old. Something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Although, if you don't mind me asking, why are you wearing a suit of armor? <laughs> no, don't ask no more. Man. <laughs> what kind of freaky hobby is that, Lieutenant? <laughs> Who are these boys anyway? Hey, so, he's practicing to be a knight, bro. The fuck? Suit up. On your business. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, is there really someone living in this place? Living? Miss Sheska, are you here? Miss Sheska? Miss Sheska, they got you living like this? Um, hmm? brother? There's somebody I guess under you could there. say she crumbled under the weight of knowledge. Stop. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry. I got myself trapped under a whole mountain of books. I thought I was 
going to suffocate under there. Yeah, it really could have so been the end of you. So, uh, are you? Now we need the research. Hand it over. And you worked at the library. Oh, the library! A job was heaven. Mm. Oh, but I forgot that I was supposed to be working, and all I ever did was read. So they fired me. The only thing I can do well is read. I'll never find another job as long as I live. I'm useless, good for nothing, more pathetic than Ponska. I mean, me. like, I'm That's sure there's some paths, job paths. You could take. Do you remember seeing like, any research belonging to someone named Tim? Yeah, we don't care though. Let's see, <laughs> We're Tim Marco. Back on track. Where do I know that name? Oh, yes, of course. I remember now. Really? I remember everything that was in them. Would that help at all? <laughs> Come on again. Uh, it's just how I am. You got the photographic memory? Of any book I've ever read. Oh, she does have the photographic while, memory. I could write them out for you. Thank you, bookworm. <laughs> okay, so she might be golden. Like, Welcome. And you can't get a job. Well, Papa, you are complete copies of all Tim Marco's notes. Oh, oh love that. I know five days is a long time to wait, but there was quite a lot to write down. Six cups of rice, one carrot, two onions, salt. Oh, great. Does this mean we came all this way for a cookbook? Miss, which huh? part of this made you think it was an important document? Is it not what you're looking for? Yeah, she, she wrote oh, down everything. Copy down what I remember. Now you can show Wonderful. So this has got to be something in this chase. Sheska, are you absolutely sure this is a flawless reproduction of the notes? Oh, yes, I'm 100% certain. Then thank you very much. You're incredible. Yeah, there's got to be right. something in there Let's for real. Let's get these real. back to the library. Oh, I almost forgot Jessica's fee. Oh, yeah, please Finish. pay her. Here, this is my registration number and the pocket watch for ID. Huh? Withdraw that amount from my annual research grants and make sure Sheska gets it, okay? Mm-hmm. Right. She can't pay that money on. I assume that I can just take this note down to the state alchemist office? That should work. <laughs> How many zeros? Ooh, that boy got that money like, like that. that he got it like that. To throw around. You almost forget, like, he's uh, really him. Understand. He's a state alchemist. These I'm sure they get paid What could they crazy. possibly have to do with alchemy? Especially Alchemy's him being like a prodigy and shit. It can be incredibly dangerous if misused. In order to prevent that, alchemic research is always encrypted. Uh -huh. These are designed to look like recipes to the average person. If they're so heavily so encrypted, first we then encrypt, how are you going to be able to decipher? And then we decipher. It's not going to be easy. There's a section in here on green tea. Green tea? Are you thinking what, what that I mean? am? Uh huh. It might be a reference to the green lion of metallurgic alchemy. Do we have That's what I was thinking too, bro. Twin springs concerning the philosopher's stone. Of course. All right. Take a look at this here. Hmm. And here too, you see. See, yeah, like they're right. just too. You too. like I was saying before. Great. You almost forget there were prodigies even start. before, Let's like do this. motherfucker met full metal old alchemist, eyeless motherfucker that gave him the power to clap and do full alchemy. Metal alchemist. Thanks to the money you gave me, Edward, I was able to move my mother to a better hospital. Aww. I really appreciate it. Nah, it was no big deal, really. Have you had any luck deciphering it so far? I like this little tune they have in the back, and now it's have going. Have you found another job yet? Mm. <laughs> the clap back of hell. <laughs> you two made me feel better. It was nice to know that even a pathetic mess like me can help out sometimes. Aww. So thanks for that as well. You should have more faith in yourself. Thank Aww. you, Al. <laughs> Yo! Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Hughes. Major Armstrong told now me my nigga Hughes. Hughes. What's good, Daddy? What gives, Ed? I told you to give me a shout the next time you made it to Central. Oh, mm. uh, something urgent came up. Sorry. It's just as well. I've been busy too. They talk to Colonel Hughes like he's an old friend. Just how high up are these boys? Anyway, as if things weren't bad enough for us already. The first branch had to burn down in the middle of all this. That's been a problem, huh? A big one. All our case records were stored in the stacks at that location, and trying to work without them hasn't been a picnic, let me tell you. Uh, hey, Lieutenant Colonel, I think I've got exactly the person you guys are looking for. Don't tell me she's gonna get paid, and then she's gonna get paid. You give, you'll get up with a job, though? Here, lady. You're hired. My office pays well, so don't worry. Oh, uh, you're saying you want me? Mm-hmm, what was that song? My whole life has changed since you came in, Ed, and I... <laughs> Somebody going crazy on that flute in the background. That's how I used to sound on the recorder too. They could have put me on the track. Okay, they saw stuff at the end. Oh, wow. I'm awake. <laughs> the library's closing. 
<laughs> I'm awake. Been at it for ten days now. Goddamn! I'm impressed they're still going after all this time. I mean, ten days is nothing for like how long they've been without their fucking bodies. What did you guys do to this place? They learned something. Don't get angry because oh you can't boy, crack and that boy Marco help. was one in them too. Huh? We cracked the code and decrypted the notes. This is the devil's research. It should have been destroyed. Dr. Marco was right. It's evil. What's so evil about evil? it? The main ingredient for a philosopher's stone is human life. <sighs> In order to manufacture even a single stone, you have to make multiple human sacrifices. And they've been keeping this on the hushity hush hush. Yeah, we gotta like speak to anyone about this. You said the words right but out of my sir, mouth, brother. Please. Right out of my mouth. Just pretend you never heard any of it. So Okay, that nigga in the first episode was one hundred percent right, but like the Elric brothers if it takes human life, I'm sure it takes more than one. Yes. How, where are they getting they their people from? They seem to have devoted Unless they're in cahoots with those notes. fucking, uh, you they know, the baddie so and gluttony and shit, you know? And maybe they're doing some sneaky on the low ski? Too, just thinking about it. Keep on the populace the under control? What was that? Ain't gonna slip one past my boy Armstrong. It's not just his arms that are strong, his brain too. Brother, you should really get something to eat. No thanks. You know, Al, it's like... We try so hard to grasp the truth, but it always slips away. And now that we finally have caught it, it turns out the truth is too dangerous to hold. Mm. You know, Al, what was something saying? I've been wanting to tell you for Toughest challenges for the strongest soldiers and I shit? I guess I've been too afraid to say it. What? I... Elric Brothers, I know you're in there! <laughs> Open up! This is the Major! Nigga, you couldn't come like at least 50 what? seconds later, bro. I was I into that. What do you want to say? How tragic! To think the legend of the Philosopher's Stone is built on such a terrible secret. Hey, you kind of loud. We're really sorry. <laughs> it's hard to stay quiet when someone like him asks you. What is it, brother? Do you remember what Dr. Marco said at the station? Huh? Well, look closely. Maybe you'll find the truth hidden within the truth. He did say that. I remember him saying that I was there. Then, but now, it's the same as with alchemical notes. Uh huh? What you can see on the surface is only a portion of the truth. There's still more to find here. There has to be. Yeah, I was gonna say something like the Philosopher's Stone. Could it Currently, really just be four operational that laboratories and central Because if it takes people. We can narrow it down to even make further. just like Marco a fake one, a pseudo one, like we've seen. We start with that one. I would assume that suspect. like a pure one would be something mm. more. Al and I have been to all the laboratories in the city. Here, or it could what's this building used for? I don't fucking know. It was designed for the fifth laboratory, but it isn't currently in use. It's mm. there. Huh? How can you be so sure that's it? There's a prison right next door. Okay, so. What was the main ingredient for a philosopher's no stone? No way. You said it needed live humans. Ugh. But they're prisoners. There's plenty of condemned criminals in the prison. Officially, they've been oh, ex ex executed. They're using the prisoners to make the stone. Nah, this show so different, like bro. What the fuck is that? Any more than you. If that ain't the most corrupt shit I've ever heard too. in a minute. The government is involved. Why do I have the feeling that we're getting involved in something really dangerous here? In the meantime, officers, speak of this to no one. Sir! Obviously. And you, Elric brothers, behave yourself. <laughs> I know you two boys. You were thinking about sneaking into this building and taking a look around, no, weren't you? Admit no, it! We weren't! We weren't! We not promised. him not in yes. <laughs> Al, come on, yeah, lock him. Sure we weren't. <laughs> They're not taking any chances, are they? Hmm. Al, you need to wait here. You're fine on your own? <laughs> Whether I'm fine on my own or not isn't the issue. You're too big to yeah, get through Yeah, it's like you're just not fitting that, buddy. <laughs> it's not like I asked to get this Aww. thing. <laughs> 66. What is it, 48? Huh? It looks as if we've got guests. <laughs> Some daredevil idiots came to visit, did they? Their lights oh, the lights are on. There's some bullshit going on. This is it, all right. This shit. It's taking a long time. <gasps> what the fuck? You son of a bitch. No, no, yeah. Okay. 
we gonna <laughs> we gonna have our little end discussion mighty quick because we we're in the middle of the story like they're not just gonna do that i'm sorry this one's gonna be a quick one <laughs> this is gonna be a quick one because what the fuck was that <laughs> it's just gonna be a short end discussion i'm sorry don't blame me but i'm sorry but like yo philosopher's stones are made with human lives in a way i guess that makes sense for like the high level of alchemy like it will let you do like something of equal value needs to be exchanged but like i don't i don't know if i 100 percent buy that correct me if i'm wrong i'm sure y'all will like the philosopher's stone is like it's like a pure substance right it's something that enhances alchemy it's not like man-made i'm sure people can make it but it's not like it's like strictly a man-made thing i think so it's like if you want to make one it using like something as fucked as human lives i don't know why but i don't i don't i don't think that's it right with me not just on moral implication but it's like there's got to be more to it you know and the thing is we've only seen like pseudo or fake like philosopher stones that are just like not fake but like incomplete ones right so like maybe like a true philosopher stone one that doesn't go kaputsky after a while after a little bit of use means like a different manner of creation i don't know it's either that or completely on the opposite side of the spectrum where it's just like, oh no, it just needs more humans, more bodies, 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 bodies. you know what I'm saying? It's like, maybe that's the case. Maybe it just needs more bodies, but it's like, either way, that's, that is so fucked. <laughs> that is so, so fucked. But you know what? We're infiltrating this whole little situation right now. This is one of those where it's like, there's so many episodes and like, we're just in the thick of it. We just kind of, we got to keep on going. So you already know the vibes. I'm sorry. It's a short little discussion at the end of this one. But it's like, we got to get right into the next episode. I want to get, I'm sorry. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling. The episode was good. So you already know the vibes. Drink plenty of water. Tell your loved ones that you love them. And most importantly, stay golden. We'll catch y'all in the next episode of Full Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood. Yeah, let's get back into the fucking fifth laboratory. Type shit. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you look right above me, you can see two of my previous videos. So, if you feel like supporting your boy, feel free to check them out. It's okay. Take your time. I'll just be right here when you're ready to watch them.